Hi. So this week I'm extending what I talked about last week in regards to the great resignation. And yesterday I touched again on the costs and it's not only a dollar cost that's costing you, but your brand and reputation as well. Um, and you might not be able to put a financial cost on that. So what else do we need to do? Last week I explored things like giving employees flexibility, leadership development to lead the hybrid team, providing a great ex employee experience and looking after employee wellbeing as actions that you can take to stop the max es exodus that is going to happen now that employees know they can work remotely. So this week I wanted to explore four more. One is listening, and it's like eye roll time, isn't it? Listening, of course, we listen. Yet yeah, most people don't. Yet yeah, they 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 might hear, but they don't really listen. This is a time we really have to listen to what our employees are saying, and I mean really listen. Take it on board. Remove your filters. Remove your biases. Take it on board, and hear what they're saying and act upon it. And. If you create, think about it, if you create a hybrid working model with no input from your employees at all, they're not going to buy in. And if you create a model that does not take into account their needs and their preferences, they will leave you and go and work for an employer who does take into account their needs and their preferences. It's a no brainer. You can't do this behind an office door. So you have to solicit input from your employees, managing expectations at the same time, but letting them know that you are listening and that you're going to co-create this model with them. The first thing to do is find out what makes them flourish at work. What makes them high performers? What is the working model that works best for them? You're not saying you're going to give that to everyone, but you're finding out what makes your employees tick. Then the other side of the coin is to look at what the business needs to achieve to deliver to its customers. And then you tie the two together and you come up with the hybrid working model with an understanding of what we need to deliver as a business. And when we do that with our employees, they understand the business model, they understand what needs to be delivered, and then we can co-design schedules that fit into that in a working model that will support that, those business outcomes. So listen, talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>